Breaking news right now at 11, a standoff at Carolina's Medical Center finally comes to an end. We're told someone barricaded themselves inside the center's parking deck. Atrium Health says it started off campus and then ended in the parking garage. Our Chloe Leshner has been on the scene gathering details since this story broke. She joins us now with the latest. Chloe, what do we know so far? Yeah, we know this SWAT situation has ended within the last half hour. We are waiting for an update from CMPD. We're expecting that any minute, but we know that person is no longer barricaded inside of a car in the parking deck. Right now, we are on the other side of the hospital from where this happened. So let me show you some video from earlier so that you can get a look at the scene. It's important to note that this was never an active shooter situation. It was certainly scary and could seem that way to people inside of the hospital, though. We spoke to someone who works in the labor and delivery unit. It. She said they hadn't been told much, but the entrances had been blocked off. The entire situation started around 7 o'clock. Police had it contained in the visitor's parking deck the entire time. Now, that's close to the emergency room on Scott Avenue and Blythe Boulevard. We were over there uh, just as this was starting to unfold. It was a chaotic scene. We saw several police cars flying by with their sirens blaring before the SWAT truck arrived. Take a listen to some of those tense moments for police as they arrived on scene. Do they feel any additional for that barricade subject? Right now we're just needing more bodies to shut down the parking deck. There's only one way in, one way out. Units, let's make sure that both exits and entrances are closed off by our personnel. Again, this SWAT situation has ended after nearly four hours. We are expecting an update from CMPD any minute now. We will work to bring that to you later in the newscast if possible. But for now, live in Charlotte, Chloe Leshner, NBC Charlotte. Chloe, thank you very much. The defenders, Nathan Morbido, learned this is now the fourth time this year alone that police in the Carolinas have swarmed a hospital. He picks up our team coverage with a look at hospital security. Shove your hand. It's the last thing patients, employees, and hospitals want. Blue lights, police tape, and everyone's safety in question. In the worst cases, not everyone walks away. In the first seven months of 2019, police have responded in force to four hospitals. CMC Maine, just the latest one. In one case, a shootout earlier this year at Lawrence County Hospital, a visitor narrowly escaped. She threw the door closed and put her body up against it and told us to run and get in the bathroom and lock the door. In another, also in South Carolina, a shooter targeted a nurse in the ER at Orangeburg Regional Medical Center. Even closer to home, Concord police charged a man with voluntary manslaughter after a fatal shooting near the ER entrance of CMC Northeast in February. Overall, crime in and around hospitals is rare, but a new national survey found some reason to be concerned. These all come around the same time as an industry group found violent crime in hospitals is starting to go back up after a lull in recent years. Assault and disorderly conduct rates reaching six year highs in hospital settings. The International Association for Healthcare Security and Safety Foundation authored the 2019 Healthcare Crime Survey. Alan Butler is the board president and says hospitals want nothing more than a safe, peaceful, successful experience for patients. They want them to come in. They want them to get the care that they need and not to have to worry about uh, anything. In this case, Atrium Health again says this did not start inside the hospital, instead off campus, but eventually ended up in the parking deck area. Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte.